here last time on the series we had a look at constantine film a german film production studio in this episode we'll take a look at morgan creek entertainment group logo logo search for morgan creek entertainment group searching for morgan creek result achieved morgan creek entertainment is an american film production company that released box office hits including young guns dead ringers major league true romance ace ventura pet detective robin hood Prince of Thieves and Last of the Mohicans. They were founded in 1988. Anyway, let's get into the logos. Their first one is the Cheesy Creek, seen from 1988 to 1991. The description for this logo is... Against a black background, a curvy blue line, intended to be a creek, moves across the screen. The camera then zooms out to reveal a tall black rectangle against the blue background with the curvy line cut out near the bottom. Morgan is seen on top and Creek is seen on the bottom, with a line placed above and below the words. The music and sounds for this logo are... The sound of a river streaming down with the rising synth tune that ends in two chime bells. Most of the time, however, silent or is the opening such Enemies, a love story does not have river sounds, but does have the rice beam in the bells. The animation of this logo is too simple and bland. Anyway, their next logo is the CGI Creek, seen from 1991 to 2001. The description of this logo is... On a navy blue background, a yellow CGI line cuts through the screen. The camera pans near it to reveal it as a creek, with 3D river effects in it. The creek then zooms out on a blue slash black gradient background, and we see it inside a purplish box. Then the words Morgan and Creek zoom out in their usual positions. The music and sounds for this logo are... An orchestral brass tune adapted from the opening theme of Robin Hood. It's a theme is composed by Michael Kamen. Ace Venture animated series this has the ending theme playing over it. In the early days of the logo, it has silent or the movie stable playing over it. In the 1992 film, White Sands, there was a different plan for it based on the Robin Hood theme, but the more familiar tune made its first appearance on Stan Tune, released in the same year. None for the stale version. This is a nice CGI upgrade from the previous one. Their next logo is the CGI Creek 2, seen from 2001 to 2009, and from 2016 to 2017. The description for this logo is... Starts out the same as the last logo, except the ripple effects in the creek are wider and look more realistic. After the camera zooms out as per usual, it is revealed to be a pitch black box against a dark blue background. The effects dissolve into a solid light blue color, and Morgan and Creek are already on the square in the usual positions. The music and sounds for this logo are... Same as the second. Sometimes, it uses the opening theme of the movie. None of the close theme of the show for the still version. This is a serviceable CGI upgrade, although the 2006 version with the squished appearance is an eyesore. Their next logo is the CGI Creek 3, only used in 2011. The description for this logo is as follows. Same concept as the last logos, except the box is slightly shorter and the river is faster and longer. The end result is on a black background with a blue circle in the middle. 
The music and sounds for this logo are as follows. The opening theme in the movie, known for the still version. This is, once again, a CGI upgrade, but a huge improvement over the 2006 version. There were last logos to CGI Creek 4, used since 2017. Their movements for liberation have been criminalized. Our people who stand up for our freedom has been railroaded into prison by the same legal system that tries to protect you today. The description for this logo is... On a black background, camera eases by with a shimmering river with the blue land shining light as the ocean swirls past the river until it's revealing on the marks. Like the past three logos, as the blue box tilts backwards, the words Morgan and Creek fly in like the effects of the cover name seen on the 1991 logo. The logo shines one more time before fading out. The music and sounds for this logo are as follows. The opening theme to the film, the TV version as in the British version of the fan film for the second and third logos. This is a callback to the 1988 logo with the actual river and the 1991 logo with the coveting name's appearance. Okay, that's it. See you on episode 86. Ladies and gentlemen, see you on the brighter later. Good night, folks. Good night, folks.